First things first, anytime doing a demonstration, you should make sure that you're, ladies and gentlemen, that you're demonstrating proper safety so as to protect your eyes. Anytime I work with fire, I always have to wear my safety goggles. So today we're going to talk about this idea called thermal expansion. Okay, Thermal expansion is this idea where we talk about how objects expand when what? Yeah. They get hot. When they get hot. And they do what when cooled? Shrink. Yeah. They shrink. You guys have some experience with this already. Okay? Hot air balloons. When you heat the air, what happens to the hot air balloon? It expands and gets larger. And if I were to take the hot air balloon into the Arctic, it would shrink, shrink and sink. Okay? So... Today, we are going to be working with this piece of metal, okay? Please draw uh, like a rectangle on your paper, okay? So you kind of can diagram this piece of metal. You're going to be looking at the piece of metal from the side. You're going to be looking at it from the side. Now we'll walk around and show you kind of what it looks like. And we're going to be diagramming it in just a minute. Okay, this is what it looks like. A piece of metal. We're going to be looking at it from this way, just from the side. Very, very thin piece of metal. Very thin. It's not technically sharp. It's just thin. If you drew it back, then you can just pretend like you zoomed in really far. Okay? Zoomed in super, 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 super far. So it looks well, you don't want a line. You're going to have to draw things in it. Okay, like right so it's super thin. And we're going to pretend like we're looking at it with a microscope, okay? And we're going to be looking at it way, way at in, close up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on my burner here. What, what scale should we do it at? Okay, what scale? Oh, man. So, and I've got this thin metal strip. If I put it over the fire, what do you think is going to happen to the strip? Yeah. It gets hot. Okay, it's definitely going to get hot. Now, you mean by getting hot that what is increasing? Uh, yeah. Okay, it is going to expand, but let's let's go back to the idea of hot. That that doesn't register. I'm thinking of yesterday's notes. Yeah. The energy. energy what energy? energy Temperature. Okay. The kinetic energy. Very good, both of you. Kinetic energy is going to increase. If we were to take the average of that energy, it would go up, and thus the temperature, temperature is going to go up. So we don't want to say it gets hot. We want to say that its kinetic energy is increasing, therefore, the, because of the movement of the atoms, it's getting faster, and therefore, the average of all the energy in the object is increasing, and therefore, the temperature has increased, and therefore, we could say it's getting hot. That's okay? exactly what I was thinking. Okay. How about you said there's no such thing as hot, hot or cold, but there's such thing as hot. Well, there is a, such a thing as an increase in kinetic energy. Yeah. Now we've redefined our, our, our thought process so a little bit. When you take we've refined it. Yeah. So basically, there's an increase in kinetic energy, and you take the average of all the temperatures, and then the temperature goes up. Yeah, you could say that. Average of all the energies. Yeah. So like you're right. It's going to get... The temperature is going to increase because the energy is being added to the strip of metal. Okay, and it is going to expand. Okay, and as a result, what's going to happen? It's got to expand somewhere. What do you think is going to happen? Out. Okay, it's going to expand outwards. So is this going to get fatter? Yes. No. Yes. Well, thicker. Okay. okay, thicker. What else? How else could it expand? <laughs> yeah. Could get longer. Could get longer. That's All right. Okay, this is metal. When we say something is getting longer or stretched, we use a word called duct. Tile. Wait, it's on the board. Duck tile. Say it after me. Duck. No. 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 Duck tile. Aisle. Duck to. Duck to. Aisle. Duck tile. Duck tile. Okay, it's like duck tape. Like a duck honk honk. Well, not like a duck. Like a duck t. Duck. Like a duck. Okay. So we have this duck tile piece of metal that can expand when heated. Yes. So it could also go down. Okay, so it could also go down. Okay. Like, 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 like this, wow. then it was like this. Okay, so it could go like this. That's what that she's saying. Kind of yes, Parker? Um, it could get, well, I know that heat makes metal stronger, so it could get stronger. Okay, maybe it could get stronger. And there is a no. trick to that with blacksmithing, sure. 
All right, so let's go ahead and check this out. I'm going to heat up this side first. And you know what? We better mark these so we know what we're talking oh, about. I'm going to call this side. Hang on. I'm going to call this side A. A. Yeah. And you know what? I actually need a good marker for this. Let me grab a permanent marker here. Okay. We're going to mark these, yeah? Whichever side you heat, it'll be, the energy, there'll be more kinetic energy because it's closer to the That's system. true. It's true. Where'd you pull that out? <laughs> There's A on this side. We're going to call this side B. That's a... Okay, A and B. We have two sides. All right, I'm going to heat side A first. Okay, and, and so... Measure how long it is or how... What? Not yet. We're just going to see if we can see anything visibly happen first. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and start passing it over the flame. Hands are really shaky. I'm out. Told you. Told you. Will it go back straight? Well, I don't know. I hope so. But otherwise, I'm out of a really good piece of metal. It's a hook now. Okay. Now you can like. Well, it's definitely did dagger. something visible, okay? It bent down towards A. Now do the B side. Okay? Now, if, all right, so I'm going to cool it down. And when it cools down, it should go contract. Back go, will it go back it like is. this? Or will it get... <gasps> Jackson, it's magic. <laughs> <laughs> I think your thing should say check Captain Hook. How does that work? It's not completely straight. Just explained it. It's pretty close, though. Okay, now I'm going to heat the B side. Okay, we saw it bend down before. For Bornheimer. Okay. Oh, lovely. B is the best ladder, of course. Oh, no. Element number six. That's true. We're going to heat the B no, side. Let's see what happens. Okay. Told you. Oh, I'm like, oh, is it like, is it like a magnet, like opposites attract? It is not a magnet, though. That's not such a is bad this idea. Magic. Yeah, I. They're trying, trying to get away from the heat. Hands are like super shaky. They are. It doesn't like the heat. Like it looks like a tongue. No, it looks like a laser tongue. Okay. okay. So it's still bent towards A. Again, so we have this phenomenon where we're heating this metal. <laughs> Touch. Okay. We're heating this metal. Ladies and gentlemen, this is called thermal expansion. I need you to write that down at the top of your paper. It's a big idea for today. This is called thermal expansion. We know that when metals are heated, they expand. But the question is is how do we explain this phenomenon of bending? And so we're going to look at that in just a moment. Are we going to do okay. those two things? We're going to also emphasize, we're going to do this again. Hit Jackson's head. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a sphere and a ring. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and just, and you can see uh -huh. that right now at room temperature that I can pass the sphere through the uh -huh. ring. Okay. That's great. That's amazing. Now, Whoa. the question is, is if I heat the sphere, which I'm about to do here. You should heat them both at even temperature okay. at the same time. And then see if it'll still fit. With the, yeah. It'll get bigger. Okay. If I heat the sphere, so I'm setting it up to heat. It looks like it's getting what do you think is going to happen to it? The volume will, yeah. get, it will get bigger because with the uh, metal that you had before when mm -hmm. it bent, Okay, I want you to think about it in terms of all the atoms packed inside the sphere. Okay, hang on, hang on, hands down. Let's say that I have a sphere, and inside the sphere are packed billions of atoms. Okay. Now, Jackson, when I heat those atoms up, I'm giving them more what? Energy. Energy oh. to spread apart. Energy. And because, therefore, the increase in energy, what happens to their movement? Yeah. They start to move faster. You're right. They start to they start to go crazy. So I want you to think about this. Imagine each of you are an atom, and I pack you shoulder to shoulder in the middle of the room. Kathy okay. calling. Yeah. 
Hola. All right, sounds good. Okay. Hey, I don't want to lose your attention, please. We're still heating this up. Okay, we're still getting it very warm. Now, if I pack all of you shoulder to shoulder in the middle of the room. Can we do that? Okay. And then I tell you guys that you have to start moving. What's going to happen to the outside of your circle? It's going to break. Mass chaos. Okay, it's not going to be mass chaos. It's going to change, like, it's not going to be a perfect circle. Okay. Because you guys need more space to move around, what's going to, it's not going to be a perfect circle, it's and it's going to, expand. It's, it's going to get bigger. It's going to expand because you guys need more space. You're going to start throwing elbows. People are going to get out of your way. Okay. You need more space. The atoms in this sphere need more space. <laughs> To achieve that, I mean, he's trying to, to achieve it. that, the atoms are going to expand outward the for more, each other out. for more, okay, <laughs> guys, for more real estate, okay? Wait, so will they really so, knock each other out? I can no longer cast it through the ring. Whoa. But it fits in there. But it doesn't go through like it did. I don't see anything that actually happened. Like, it's not visible to the human eye. Well, yeah. you don't see well, that it changed a lot, but you did see that it will no longer pass through the ring. Okay, how could I make the ring bigger? You heat it. Heat the fire. Okay, so let's... Heat them both at the same time at the same temperature, and then they'll fit small. together. How about you put the other one on top, and maybe they'll mold it together, and it'll be like clay. Oh, yeah, you can mold them together. I don't care. They will be one. <laughs> they will be one. That's not crazy. Okay. First of all, listen up. You are never, ever allowed to say I'm confused without first asking at least one, if not two, questions. I'm not confused. Hey, okay. okay. Emma. Emma, you said confused. I'm not confused. Yes, Bo. Oh. So if it adds yeah. heat, then. No, no, no. Bo, we're on to the next example. How are you? You're not looking this way, so I don't. I don't think you can understand what we're doing if you're not looking. Thank you. Okay, I heated this sphere. We didn't notice anything physical happen until I tried passing it through the ring, and I had showed you before that it could pass through the ring just fine. Now I'm heating the ring and the sphere, and by heating both, they're both going to do what? They're going to expand, and if they expand evenly, okay. If they expand evenly, we should see that they will be able to pass through each other again. Yeah. Is there even a fire there? Because I can't see it. There is fire there, believe it or not. Really? Yeah. It's there. It's very blue. Oh, oh now I see it. Because blue is the hottest flame. Blue is one of the hottest flames, yes. Is that those things they put under the food to keep them It is. No, it's green. It's also green is the hottest fire. Yeah, really it's actually blue. Shh. It's green. Wait, is it green? Mr. B, if you help him. All right, here we go. They've both been heated. They both should have that expanded. Silver. That one was gold. Okay. Well, I didn't heat it enough, I guess. Because you didn't heat them evenly. You is heated that green? one longer than you heated that one. Okay, so an uneven heating didn't get hot but enough. But now, since you're keeping it out, it's going to shrink. No, it no, will shrink a little bit. Mr. B. Why did the ball turn silver? Because it was gold when you started. It got heated. Just the surface of it changed color a little bit because it got hotter. I noticed that. How many times have you done this? It's like Earth getting hurt by a meteor. Phew. Today? Mm-hmm. Will it change back to bronze? Yeah, it was bronze when you started. Will it change back? It's close. It's close. Oh, uh, now it's probably stuck. So we were able to get it through. Okay, they're both really hot. They're both very, very hot. I can feel the heat on the back of my hand. Okay? Now. Huh? Now, I know the ring is going to be really hot. How could I cool the sphere down really fast so that I could pass it through the ring even easier? Put it in the freezer. Put it in the freezer. Mr. P, that gives us like a second degree burn if you touch them with it. Maybe it'll be bad. Look, you can see the blue flame now. Jackson. Yeah, I Emma, it's sizzling! Emma, shh, be quiet! Listen! I like your shoes. Michelle's eating. 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 Michelle's eating.
Put in the fish No. We do know the ring is very hot. It should still be expanded. And now I can pass these through pretty seamlessly.